Hey guys, Brian Savage here with you. I uh, want to talk to you about pickups. Um, in the earlier video, I um, showed you a Lotus guitar. Of Dan's. You can see I got the pick guard out of it. I got the pick guard flat. I don't know if you remember, but it was really bowed sunk down here and here and then really raised up right here and this corner here was all down and what I did was is I put it in my electric oven not the gas oven I lucky enough that I have both but uh, anyway I put it in the gas oven on the rack turned the broiler on and put it on the next to last section away from the broiler and simply put it in there for about I don't know maybe a minute and a half two minutes if that and it just made this kind of pliable. And then I put it on the floor and stacked a bunch of books on it real quick and got it back to flat. But again, this is about pickups, not the guitar and the pick guard. These are the pickups that I took out of it. Okay. And we're going to unwind this stuff here. And I'm going to use the, this was the middle pickup. Get these wires loose here if I can. Uh, let's see here. There we go. That will come free. All right, we're just going to see this one here. Okay, this is what people would call the Chinese cheapo pickup. All right, you take a cover off. This is just simple plastic cover. They've got some tape wound around here. Looks like just kind of like a wound of electrical tape cover up the shielding you can see the little wires there coming through let me get some crazy light on this maybe it'll help okay and you see there's just a glued ceramic magnet these are simply just iron slugs and then on the back of it, they glue a ceramic magnet. Okay. Now let's go ahead. Please don't get the wires over. You make me sick, baby. Nah, it's probably the wrong tool for that. We don't want to tear this up. Because these pickups do work. You never know. Might be for somebody that needs a replacement for one that doesn't work and don't have any money. I'll throw one of these things in it for them. just to get them working again. Get them playing again. I'm trying to be super careful and cut this loose from here and it's just not wanting to come. I'd rather not tear the pickup up in the process. I want to be real careful down here. There's wires here. I think I might be able to get a hold of it. Ah! Shucks. Well, forget it. We gave it the old college try. Uh, come on. I wouldn't do this normally because nah. yeah, I cut some of the winding with it, you can see. But let's just peel this off here. Okay. Now this pickup's no good anymore. It's done. I've done separated the coil. Cut part of the coil. It's not going to be conductive. And if it did, I'd be really surprised. That's okay. Not the point. I want you to take close note of the color of that war. War. That copper is very orangish. Not very copperish. Chinese pickup. Let's say economic pickup, because who knows where it came from? Indonesia, Korea, who knows? Now this is I showed in the other video a set of Fender lace sensors. This is the blue sensors. Those are the specs for the blue sensors. This is a older set of pickups that 
Dan had for a while that we're going to throw in here. But what I want to show you is, is uh, just like those pickups, the cover comes right off of them. And we're actually going to switch it up. We're going to put the black ones on these to put back in the guitar because the black matches better than the white. Boop. Throwing stuff around here. Anyway, set those aside. Carefully pick these up here. First thing you notice, no magnet on the back. These are Alnico slugs. This slug itself is the magnet. And then look how bright, shiny, and copper looking, not all orangish looking, the wire is. And the reason is, let me move this knife, keep my kitty safe. The reason is, is that this is copper. This is a copper compound. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference or not. Oh yeah. See how lighter and how dark lighter the fender is, lace, and the uh, how dark the copper is in this. This has a lot of other metals mixed with it to make the copper go farther. It also makes the copper less conductive. It also makes the copper more um, more susceptible to corrosion because those other compounds mixing with it uh, in the metals causes different and well causes it to corrode easier so that just a little example of the difference between a high quality pickup uh, El Nico slugged and something that they just put some and I doubt those are even stainless steel that's probably just some Chinese pop metal they call um, still in those. Sorry for the dirty fingernails. I've been working on this thing for a while and it was kind of filthy inside. But, uh, and then they just glue a magnet on it. Yeah. So, this works. These work better. These sound better, in my opinion. So, that's what, uh, little video on pickups. And like I said, as far as the covers go, here's the covers off the, the cheap ones. And they go right down on there. So, no problems there. We'll put the black covers on there. We're going to get them loaded back up in this. Obi's laying on the... Here's the pots out of it. And here was something I found interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but these are 500k ohm pots. Typically you find on single coil guitars, 250k pots. I, I'm going to see what the difference actually makes running a higher resistance pot. I know 500 is usually humbuckers and 250 is usually for single coils. Although I've heard of people putting 250s on humbuckers and 500s on singles. So we're going to put these 500 on the singles. And if you know what kind of what that does to them, um, adding those extra resistance, what it does to a single coil, send me a comment. Educate me a little bit on it. Um, I don't feel like going to educate myself on it right now. <laughs> I may end up doing it anyway. I'm, I'm sure I will. But... Uh, so we're going to load all this components. These are the stock pieces out of the Lotus. The switch isn't that bad. Um, remember when I said before, take pictures? What I did was, is I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I put an N on that lug, an M on that lug, and a B. I wrote it down on the PCB with a fine point permanent marker. So I know it's neck, middle, and bridge. Pickup is how that's set up. Okay. All right, guys. Well, oops, sorry. That's me. Ta-ta for now. Share the music. Share the love. Peace out.